Hi everyone, today we're going to be making this very simple guitar pick holder. And as you can see, we made it heart shaped for Valentine's Day. And I am going to be working with some size 4 medium weight yarn. I'll also be using a size G or 6 or 4 and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to begin with a magic circle. Then we're going to chain two and inside our magic circle we're going to place six double crochets. Once you have your six double crochets then pull on your tail to tighten the gap in your magic circle. And we're going to skip our chain two and then place one slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And diving right into that same stitch where we just placed our slip stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. And in our next stitch, we're going to place a slip stitch, then two double crochets in our next stitch, and to this same stitch, we're going to add a slip stitch. Then in our next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. Then a slip stitch in our next stitch, and two double crochets in our last stitch. Then we're going to place a slip stitch, and this should be in your previous row's slip stitch. So you should have a total of eight stitches when you get to the end of your row. Starting in this next stitch over, we're going to place two double crochets, and then we're going to place two double crochets in the following stitch. Then in our next stitch, we're going to place a slip stitch, and this should be in your previous row's slip stitch. Then we're going to place two double crochets in our following two stitches. Then we're going to place a slip stitch in our next stitch. Then we're going to place two double crochets in our next two stitches. And we're going to place a slip stitch in our next stitch. And then two double crochets in our following two stitches. Now we're going to slip stitch into our last stitch here, and that should be your slip stitch from your previous row. So the pattern for this next row is going to be to place one single crochet in this first stitch. And we're going to place three double crochets in our next two stitches. Then in our next stitch, we're going to place a slip stitch. And we're going to skip our next stitch altogether and then place a slip stitch in the following stitch. And we're going to place three double crochets in our next two stitches.
and then you're going to place a single crochet in that next stitch then a slip stitch in the following stitch and then a single crochet in your next stitch then you're going to place three double crochets in those next two stitches Then you're going to slip stitch into your next stitch. Then we're going to skip our following stitch and place a slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we're going to place three double crochets in those next two stitches. Then we're going to place one single crochet in our next stitch and then a slip stitch in our last stitch. From here we're going to fold our hearts in half so your crochet hook should be on the side of one of your hearts. Now we're just going to join our first four like stitches using slip stitches. So to do that, we're going to work back in this single crochet that we just placed, as well as our first single crochet from the row. So right here. And we're just going to place a slip stitch. Then we're just going to repeat that process for our next three stitches. From here, we're going to chain 50. And once you have your 50 chains, then we want to look at the other side of our heart. So the first thing we're going to do is locate our slip stitch, and then we want to count four stitches back on both sides. We're going to insert our crochet hook in the fourth stitch on both of these sides. And this is going to mimic what we did on the other side. Once you've inserted your crochet hook in that fourth stitch, you can start to place your slip stitches, only this time we're working down rather than up. And once you're done joining on your other side, then we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. So now we're going to hide our tails on the outside here, and then we're just going to turn this inside out. Then you're just going to insert your guitar picks in the opening, and you can hang this over the neck of your guitar.